with the one who built the second pyramid and the one who made the Sphinx. Okay? This statue is a unique statue. Remember when we went to the Valley Temple and we saw that bit was money? The wishing bit, the wishing well. This is where we found that statue hidden under the ground. Why? We don't understand. It's supposed to be above the ground. This statue is made out of a unique material from Durit. And that type of Durit, we call it Kifrin Durit because we don't have another or we don't know where are the quarries of this type. We know there is Durit nice and another type of Durit. We geologically we understand those. But this one is unique. That's why many people, they suspect that this is maybe Egyptian material. The Egyptian had to travel to Africa to find this uh, material. And it will lead us again to a question, how they cut this? Exactly. If we are talking about granite, this is harder than granite. So... In the perfection. Exactly. And look to the perfect details. Care about... Look, I want you to look to what we call it hidden details. Like what? The back side of the, of the ear. Okay? It's perfect because I learned something. When we do very hard job, but I understand that this is, will not be seen, I made it quickly. We don't care much about the final details, especially if it will not be seen. Okay? So the sculpture will say, okay, no one will see behind here. No one will see behind the king. So why the buzzers themselves keep doing this perfectly? Unless they are able to do it. It was easy. It wasn't very hard for them. Okay? Look to the falcon. And people, they say it's Horus. Why? We are not sure. Writings. No writings except the front part in the each side of the leg. Okay? Rotation yes, what this is this is what we call it samatawi unification. It is the, uh, the lungs of the king, or the lungs, not necessarily the king, and the air by, okay, and the lotus and papyrus flower tied together. So as if this is the perfect combination for the body. You must inhale lotus and papyrus. So it's not unification. It is. High consciousness again. So does lotus and papyrus? Yes. Have a smell? Yes. Does it have anything to do with the But not as perfume. You got it? So yeah. it is not mainly perfume. Maybe they use it as so perfume like now. Papyrus will clean the air. Exactly. Cleansing. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. The back side of the statue has nothing, no writings. Plain. So why? Why the king didn't write his name behind the, the statue? We don't know. And what is the idea of the falcon? We don't know. Yes. Come and show you something. So now is that typical for the here? Yeah. But the, the same one but different material. Yeah. This is what we call it nice. Do you write? I want you to come closer. Look here. Can you see this? This is what? This is a mark from that power tool. And it went a little bit deeper than they want, than the level they wanted. Because again, this is what I call it mistakes, human mistakes. The man who was working with the machine, it went deeper a little bit, so it created deeper level here and also here. You saw it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. yeah. A chisel can do this? No. But it's also not a straight line. Yes. A little bit curved too. Uh -huh. Because he was following the, the curved line of the of the thigh. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Nice yes. Also look if we look between the legs, we're gonna see also they made look to that straight cut. Mm -hmm. And this is a tube drill shape here. So that is all done by yeah. Look to the details. How come they finish such details? Do the bounds. Yes. Yeah, the knees. It, so it looks like a real yeah. knee. 